In February 2011, I was given an amazing privilege to serve the people of the Diocese of Ontario as their 12th bishop. And I began to think, what would be the focus of my time as bishop? Because this time goes by so quickly. And a theme that came to me very early on in my time as bishop was the fact that we are called into the world. We're called to be ambassadors for Christ. The heart of that ministry is reconciliation. A few years later, as bishop, I had the opportunity of an amazing experience in Coventry in the UK as part of a bishop's dialogue. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, led us through a litany I'd never heard before, the Litany of Reconciliation, a prayer that has been used in the ruins of Coventry Cathedral for decades, that is at the heart of an amazing ministry of reconciliation. I mean, talk about going into the world. That's going into the world in places where there is hurt, where there is the pain and anger of injustice, where there is violence, where there's hatred, where people bravely go into those circumstances and situations and proclaim that good news of Jesus Christ. What better way can there be to be an ambassador for Christ but to walk into those hurting situations and bring a message of healing and hope? That's what's in my heart every Friday at about 10 to 12 when I walk out onto the steps of St. George's Cathedral. Whether it's a beautiful sunny day, whether the rain is pouring, whether it's the cold of winter, the same thought is there, that we have an opportunity to join our prayers with prayers of people throughout the world offering this litany or other prayers of reconciliation. But I also have that thought that our prayers can be turned into action, that we can take the words that we say and make them real in people's lives. Well, my hope, my prayer, is that we will become even more deeply committed to this ministry of reconciliation, that we will have made a difference in a world that is so hurting, but in the need for reconciliation that is right on our doorstep, in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our province, our country. I believe it's the heart and soul of the great commandment of Christ to love God, to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. That's shown forth in the Ministry of Reconciliation, and I pray that that ministry continues in this diocese and around the world for decades to come.